Colleagues, it's time for us to start our meeting, and we've also formed a quorum. We've arranged two meetings to handle the agenda items. After this meeting, we'll take a break of 10 minutes. The second meeting will start at 5.40 p.m. I'd like to remind members that if you have any direct or indirect pecuniary interest in relation to any agenda item in accordance with procedure 83A, you should disclose the nature of that interest before the discussion. May I also call your attention to ROP 84, the voting requirements in relation to such interests. At the second meeting, some members asked about the subject being voted upon, whether or not the division bell should ring for five minutes or one minute. On the 10th of December, FC 67, the Secretariat or has already distributed the information to members. As we have that request from members, I'd like to say that if this meeting is to handle such requests, such division, for the last 10 items of the agenda, I will remind you that we've come to the last 10, then, or the last 10 motions, then we can inform or notify members to come back, or you can call your party members back. Today, we have the Secretary for the Environment, Mr. Wang Kam Singh, and also We got 78 motions, and 71 of them are ruled directly related to the subject matter. Last time, we handled 35 motions. I'll follow the following sequence in putting the motions to the vote. I'll read them out such that you can be prepared. Number one, Mr. Chen Chi Chun, 13 motions. Number two, Dr. Fernando Chang, 13 motions. Number three, Mr. Gary Fan, 10 motions. After the committee has handled all those motions under Procedure 37A, I'll put the item to the vote. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, one minute. Mr. Chairman, I just submitted 10 to you. What? I just submitted 10 to you. Mr. Chairman, can I start? In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration said that in 2030, all extension projects for Northeast NT landfills will be completed. This committee requests that the administration in granting the works project for the extension it should specify in the contract that if the contractor cannot complete the works in tw by 2030, the contractor must compensate the government so as to press the contractor to complete all works on schedule. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 38 for 21 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration in its funding allocation papers for any anti extension, mention that mitigation measures would be implemented to reduce noise. But according to past experience, many contractors did not follow the requirements to use 
mitigation devices. This committee requests the administration to undertake that when discovering that the contractor has not used noise mitigation devices, should stop the contractor from continuing with the works to ensure that people's living will not be affected by the related works. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. 8 for, 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chin, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the civil engineering, as large scale civil engineering works are involved in the NENT landfill extension, this committee requests the administration in granting the contract to the related contractor, apart from selecting a company with a rich experience in landfilling, should also ensure that the company in past landfilling works did not have any incidents involving injuries and fatalities to ensure that the company can provide the safest work environment to the workers involved in the extension. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 9 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the NENT landfill extension involves over $7.51 billion of public money, this committee requests the administration in granting the contract for the extension require that the awardee company must subcontract the works to local companies to ensure that the local engineering sector and construction sector can benefit from the foregoing works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 7 for, 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as in the NENT landfill extension project, the contingency fee is as high as $404 million. This committee requests that the independent consultancy should be responsible for managing that contingency fee to ensure that the company awarded the contract for the extension project will not casually and randomly use the contingency, which is as high as $404 million. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 7 for, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that uh, as the NENT landfill extension project involves $7.51 billion of public money and the contract is most likely awarded to one single company. This, com this committee requests that the administration must specify that the awardee company must not hire a subsidiary company 
as a subcontractor for the foregoing works to ensure that the other awardee companies will not be for those non awardee company they will also be relate they will also benefit even though they had no relationship with the main awardee voting begins before i declare the voting results members please check your votes voting now ends display voting results voting results 8 for 21 against i declare the motion negative mr chen chi chen in accordance with fc procedure 37a i move that uh, as the NENT landfill extension project involves $7.51 billion of public money, if there's slippage, the public uh, will have to bear huge losses. This committee requests that uh, when the project overspends for more than six months uh, with serious slippage, the administration should immediately report to the LegCo the conditions around and reasons surrounding the slippage such that the public can immediately understand the situation of the delay to avoid the senior management of the government hide the slippage as in the case of the XRT. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display the voting results. Voting results 8 for 25 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the NENT landfill extension involves $7.51 billion of public money and the relevant works will most likely be awarded to one single contractor. This committee requests that the administration in granting the contract for the project should specify that when there are serious overspending or slippage, the awardee company must immediately report to the public and the administration should stipulate a penalty mechanism to punish the hiding of overspending and slippage such that the public can immediately understand the overspending situation and the slippage to avoid a recurrence of the situation of the SRL where the slippage was hit from the public. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting results, 7 for 24 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that, as the administration said, that for the NENT landfill extension project, the extra recurrent expenditure per annum will be around $81 million. This committee requested the administration to undertake that if such overspending exceeds $81 million, the administration must immediately stop the extension project and seek effective measures to reduce recurrent expenditure before resuming the extension to ensure that public money will be well used. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 7 for 23 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration said that the proposed landfill extension operation land lifespan would be around 10 years. This committee requests that the administration should undertake that if the extension after commissioning operate for less than 10 years, the administration would not further extend the landfill to ensure that the living environment of the communities in the vicinity of the landfill will not face further 
threats. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for, 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chin. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration's NENT extension project can provide an extra 19 million cubic meters of landfilling capacity to cope with the ultimate waste disposal services in North East Hong Kong with a sustainable demands, continuous demands. This committee requests that the administration should reduce the capacity of the relevant landfill from 90 million cubic meters to 800 to 8 million cubic meters to reduce the harm of the landfill extension done to the neighboring environment. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for, 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration intends to use the build construction operate build construction operate form of contract to arrange for the engineering works and operation of the NENT landfill. According to past experience, the contractor might not immediately announce seepage incidents. This committee requests the administration in granting the contract specify that if seepage occurs in any NT landfill during operation, the operator must immediately make public the incident. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for, 23 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chen Chi Chun, in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that as the administration intends to use the contract form of design, build, and operate, that is, uh, to arrange for the works and operation of the NENT landfill, and in accordance with past experience, the operation period can be as long as 10 years or more. This committee requests that the administration in granting the contract reduce the operation period to five years and that the administration can replace the operator regularly so as to ensure the operational quality of the NENT landfill extension. Dr. Fernando Chang, after this, it will be your turn. Please get prepared. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for, 22 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang, Chairman. In paragraph 5 of paper FCR 2014-15-32A, the recycling blueprint for Hong Kong 2013-2022 does not explain in detail the policy objectives, plans, and related financial commitment. So in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that this committee moves that the administration should explain the details under that blueprint in terms of policy objectives, plans, and related financial commitment before proceeding to the NENT landfill extension.
Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 7 for 22 against. I declare the motion negatived. Dr. Fernando Zhang, Chairman, as pointed out in paragraph 7 of uh, FC paper FCR 2014-32A in relation to the NENT landfill expansion plan, um, as um, by 2017, uh, there is uh, still a need to dispose about uh, 10,000 tons of waste, and the government has failed to explain the calculation and the specific reasons why. I moved uh, that the following, that this committee uh, moves that the administration must explain um, in detail the specific reasons and the method for calculating the 10,000 tons uh, of waste to be disposed of daily in 2017 before rolling out the NENT landfill expansion plan. Voting begins. Would members please check your votes before I announce the voting results. Voting is closed. Results are displayed. 8 for 22 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Zhang. Chairman, In FC paper FCR 32A, the administration um, points out that the three landfills will um, reach their capacities it, it, or not before 2019, and yet the NENT landfill expansion will only be completed in 2028, and that the administration has failed to explain the policy initiatives for waste disposal in the interim period. According to um, FC Procedure 37A, I move the following, that this committee moves that the administration must clearly explain the interim uh, period and the relevant policy initiative to be rolled out um, on waste disposal as the three landfills will reach the capacities on or before 2019, and yet the NENT landfill expansion will only be completed in 2028. Voting begins. Before I announce the voting results, remember, please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 8-4-21 against. I declare the ne motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang. Chairman, as pointed out in para 7 of FCR 2032A, the NENT landfill expansion would provide additional landfill capacity for residents in NENT in accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedure. I move that this committee request the administration to explain that apart from residents in the Northeast NT, other residents are not allowed to use any NT before um, the landfill expansion can, take, uh, can commence. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 8 for 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang. As pointed out in para 8 of FC paper FCR 32A, the proposed NENT expansion area would uh, be about 70 tons and the operation period is about 10 years. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedure, I move the following, that this committee requests the government to explain the um, ca the, uh, the calculation method in detail for the 10-year operating period for the NENT uh, expansion before commencing the NENT expansion. Voting begins. 
Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 8420 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chan. As pointed out in para 12 of FC paper FCR 32A, the NENT expansion will cost an additional recurrent expenditure of $81 million per year. And the administration will consider the polluter pay principle in setting the relevant charges. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedure, I move the following, that this committee request the administration to explain the detailed policy blueprint of policy pay uh, of the polluter pay principle, including the uh, polluter pay principles application on domestic and non-domestic waste before commencing the NENT landfill extent expansion scheme. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 8422 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chan. As the FC paper FCR 32A para 15 states that the administration consulted district um, organizations and the Stakeholders consulted included the Taku Leng, Sha uh, Tao Kog, uh, no, uh, Rural Area Committees, and North District Council. And the working group also appointed two members of the uh, Rural Area Committees as members. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedures, I move the following that the committee request the administration to explain that apart from consulting the two Rural Area Committees and the North District Council, whether it has in detail collect views. Uh, collected views from NENT residents, and the administration should explain um, the methodology for um, collection of views, the frequency, and the um, relevant supporting and opposing views. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 8 4, 21 against. I Declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang. As FC paper FCR 32A para 15 and 16 states that the administration has consulted um, locally and would continue to liaise with the local community in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I move the following that this committee moves that the administration explains the uh, methodology. And the specific goals for maintaining close liaison with um, personnel in NENT um, uh, and the financial resources before commencing the NENT landfill expansion. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Zhang. As FC paper FC out 2014 15 32A para 18 states that. On the 27th of May 2013, at the meeting of the Environmental Affairs Panel of the Legislative Council, motions opposing the NENT expansion were not carried. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedure, I move the following, that this committee moves that the administration must respond to the viewpoints raised by members opposing the NENT landfill expansion at the EA panel meeting on the 27th of May 2013. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Zhao. 
as FC paper FCR 2014-15-32A para 22 states that in the process of biodegradation, uh, leakage of leachate would result, and earlier residents near the NNT landfill revealed the serious leakage of leachate there, affecting seriously their livelihood and their uh, uh, farming practices, which um, was inconsistent with the FC paper. In accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I move the following, that this committee moves that the administration must explain the situation regarding the uh, leakage of leachate near NNT landfill, the responding strategy and compensation for residents affected. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Jung. As FC paper FCR 2014 15 32 A para 26 states that in the course of expanding landfill, 117,600 tons of construction waste would be generated, 11,760 tons of which would be disposed at the landfill. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FCP, I move the following that this committee moves that the administration must explain why. Such a large quantity of construction waste would be created in the process of expansion, and what measures the administration has to reduce such waste before commencing the NENT landfill expansion. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4, 19 against. I declare the motion negatived. Dr. Fernando Jiang. In accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedure, I move the following that this committee moves that the scale of NENT landfill extension be reduced and the recycling policy should and waste reduction policy should be implemented and um, a review should be conducted in three years time. Mr. Abba Chan, I want to remind you that I've just read the uh, 11 motions proposed under 37A and five of them are similar or, or the same as the uh, Ch Mr. Chen Chi Chun's motions. So we're only going to deal with uh, the uh, six out of the 11 motions you propose. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, will members please check your vote. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 8 4, 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Jam. As FC paper FCR 2014-15-32A para 33 states that the administration antici anticipates that 682 posts will be created for the proposed project in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I move the following, that this committee urges the administration to ensure that priority will be given to the employment of local workers in relation to project number 163DR to ensure that job opportunities can be provided for the local construction industry. Mr. Gary Fan, you're next after we finish this one. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your vote? Voting is closed. Result is displayed. Voting result 7 4, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Gary Fan. In accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedure, I moved the following. As the 
Residents near NENT landfill uh, has to bear with air pollution um, for a prolonged period with hazards to their respiratory system. This committee urges the administration to um, allocate funds to allow resident to subsidize uh, residents near NENT landfill to um, examine their respiratory system during the expansion project. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 7 4, 20 against. I declare the motion negatived. Mr. Gary Fan, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedure, I move the following. As the Hong Kong SAR government has failed to reduce waste at source, I, uh, this committee urges the administration to publish a report to review their inadequacies in their work um, of waste reduction before expanding NENT landfill. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your vote? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 7 4 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Gary Van, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I moved the following. As recently, government projects have experienced cost overruns. This committee urges the administration to ensure that there would not be cost overrun for the NENT landfill expansion project. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 6 4 20 against. I declare the motion negatived. Mr. Gary Fan, in accordance with Rules 37A of FCP, I moved that as the residents living near NENT landfill um, has experienced prolonged nuisance. This committee urges the administration to consider the aspirations of um, residents nearby um, on land uses after restoring the NENT landfill in the future. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? The voting is closed. The result is displayed. 6 4, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Gary Fan, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I move that this committee request that the administration increase substantially uh, glass recycling points before expanding the NENT landfill.
We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now concluded and we will display the results. 7 4, 18 against. I declare that the motion is negatived. Mr. Fan. According to the rules of procedure of FC 37A, I propose that we demand the government to increase substantially the number of collection points for e-waste before the NENT expansion plan for the landfill. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Vote is concluded and we display the results. 7 for 17 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Fan? According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of FCI, I propose that we demand the government to commit to recycle all the glass bottles before the expansion plan for any NT landfill. Members, these are the final 37A motions. So in 15 minutes or so, we'll have to cast our votes for the NENT landfill. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is closed and we display the results. 7-4, 16 against. I declare this is negatived. Mr. Fan Kotwai? According to 37A of Rules of Procedures for FC, I move that we demand the government to undertake Well, this is the same as the 61. It should be 65 instead. I'll start again. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of the FC, I move that we demand the government to submit a report to assess the work of public education on recycling and waste reduction and promote a more proactive education option or proposal before the ENT landfill expansion. Well, the first one was glass bottles, and this one is about plastic bottles. The one you just read out is 65. So actually, 62 and 61 are not the same. I will read out 62 later on then. So we are voting on 65. Let's begin. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote is concluded. We'll show the results. 7 4, 18 against. I declare this is negatived. Mr. Fan? Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of FC, I move that we demand the government to undertake to comprehensively launch recycling of plastic bottles before the NANT landfill expansion work.
We're now put into the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote is concluded and will display the results. 9, 4, and 17 against. I declare the motion is negatived. Mr. Fan? According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of FC, I move that this committee demands the government to provide a report to assess the content of waste reduction and recycling in fundamental education for primary and secondary schools and promote a more proactive educational proposal before launching the NENT landfill project. Mr. Albert Chen, you are next after this one. We will now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Vote is concluded. We'll display the results. 9 4 and 19 against. I declare the proposal is negatived. Ms. Albert Chen. Thank you, Chairman. Because I was arrested last night, my assistant is sick. So five out of them have been repealed by you. So I have six left, right? Yes, 0084. I propose that because the expansion plan will provide a space of 19 million cubic meters to deal with waste, I uh, this committee urges the government to reduce that to 7.5 cubic meters to minimize the impact of the landfill expansion plan on the nearby communities. We we'll now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote is concluded. We we'll show the results 9 4 and 20 against. I announce that the proposal is not a tough position. Chairman, if you want to talk on the phone, please leave the chamber. You are not new here. I move that. Because the overall design and formation work of the project will affect the overall progress of the project, this committee demands the government that a contractor must be commissioned to do the formation work of NENT expansion plan to ensure that there will be no serious delays affecting the progress of the NENT landfill expansion plan. I want to remind you, five more to go, and then we'll have to put it to the vote. Five more. We'll now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Vote is concluded. We'll display the results. 8 4, 20 against. I declare the proposal is negative. Mr. Chen. Chairman, in I move that in order to minimize the nuisance cost to the nearby community by the expansion plan, this committee demands that the government should, on every Friday to Sunday and all public holidays, after commissioning of the landfill, the landfill should be closed down to shorten the operational time of the landfill so as to minimize the negative impacts on the nearby community. We'll now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The 
Voters concluded. I will display the results. 9 for and 23 against. I declare the proposal negative to Mr. Chen. Chairman, I move that in order to minimize the negative impact on the nearby community, this committee requests the government to restrict the operational time after commissioning of the landfill to only 12 noon to 6 p.m. So as to shorten the operation time of the landfill and minimize impact on the nearby community. I now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote is concluded and will display the results 10 for and 26 against. I declare proposal negative to Mr. Chen. Chairman, according to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that we should adjourn the meeting right away. Mr. Chen, well, 39 is about speaking time. We are working on 37A, so you cannot ask for a German of the meeting. Chairman, I'm speaking on the motion. I know that I'm focusing on 37A. You are speaking on your proposal. We are working on 37A. After the voting is concluded, I'll ask the clerk to explain to you. We we'll now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results of the vote, please verify your votes. The vote is concluded and will display the results. 11 for, 31 against. I declare the proposal negative. To Mr. Albert Chen, on your ruling, I would like to speak, so I'm not talking about this motion. I'm not happy with your ruling, and I'm following 39 of rules of procedure, and I propose adjournment of the meeting. Clerk? Well, according to the procedure of the committee, the chairman is looking at 37A of the rules of procedure for, rules for finance committee to examine all the motions. The chairman is dealing with the motions proposed by members. I spoke on the previous ruling. Mr. Chen, actually, when the voting bell was ringing, I allowed you to read out your motion to the other members. You can choose not to read it. If you're lazy, I can read it for you. It is not speaking time. You're just reading out the content of your motion. I understand, Chairman. This is not your speaking time. Yes, that's the original intent of your arrangement. But the actual content of my speech was not referring to the original intent. I told you I wanted to speak. Well, I'm sorry, when we are not working on 37A, I'm asking members to cast the vote, so you cannot go to 39. One minute, Mr. Chen, the final, is it the final one? Uh, 89? Uh, uh, Mr. Chen Shishun? Well, are you saying that once we enter 37A procedure, under any circumstances, we cannot do anything according to 39 to ask for adjournment? Well, 39 is very clear. 
A member, when speaking on a proposal in the committee, may move without notice. So and so forth. Normally, when the administration submits certain financial proposal or items or proposals already appearing in the agenda, so unless we go back to questioning or members express their views on a certain item, that is when a member is speaking on a proposal, and that is when thirty nine applies. Speaker is off mic. Speaker is off mic. Speaker is off mic. We already explained to you, Mr. Chen. Speaker is off mic. Nothing is coming through. Speaker is off mic. For items submitted for consideration by the FC, other than financial proposals by the administration, it could also be amendments submitted by members on the rules of procedures of the Finance Committee. Those are also proposals. Mr. Chen, Mr. Albert Chen, I just want to seek clarification. I seem to remember when it comes to requesting adjournment. Do you remember? Similarly, such a motion has been voted down earlier on. I am not sure if that happened to this committee, but recently at the establishment committee, the committee considered some late application for joining the committee because that was internal affairs. And as explained by the Deputy Secretary, the rules of procedures are very similar or even the same under 39 for both committees when it comes to internal affairs. The final one. One minute, Mr. Albert Chen. Chairman. The administration said that when they launched the expansion plan for any anti landfill, they would stay in touch with the district liaison group and members of the Northern District Council and other stakeholders. So I urge the government that there should be a meeting every three months with the district liaison group and Northern District Council to allow the council to understand the progress of the work and express the views in a timely manner. Speakers not coming through. I cannot hear you. We had a dispute on 77A when that is being dealt with and uh, we argued about 39. I remember it happened before. We'll put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Vote is concluded and will display the results. 15, 4, 36 against. I declare the proposal negatived. FCR bracket 2014 15 32A on the Northeast New Territories landfill. Can I move? to have an adjournment under 39. This is my proposal. This is my motion. I request a an adjournment. It's not time for you to speak. Mr. Albert Chan, in fact, you know the rules more than I. You are such an experienced member. In fact, 
I shouldn't have allowed you to switch on your microphone to speak. Understand that uh, we should all abide by the rules of procedure. I'm now putting the item to the vote. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 34 for, 19 against. I declare the motion passed. Concerning paper FCR 2014 15 32A, members moved 107 motions, 98 of which are directly related to the agenda item and will follow the following order in asking the committee to decide whether or not we should handle those motions. I'll read them out. Dr. Kwakaki, 28, Mr. Gary Fan, 14, Mr. Albert Chan, 39. Mr. Long Kwa Hong, 1, Ms. Sito, 1, Dr. Fernando Chang, 7, Ms. Emily Lau, 8. Dr. Kwa Kaki. Sorry, the speaker is not coming through the microphone. We are now on 33A, not 34A. Sorry, the speaker is not coming through. For this one, it's five minutes. Dr. Kwa Kaki. Mr. Chairman, in accordance with uh, paragraph 37 of FC procedure for NT West Landfill Extension for the investigation project, as the Long Town residents have not been duly consulted, this committee requests the administration to, before proceeding with the works, duly consult the residents before commencing with the works.
Dankeschön. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 11 for, 26 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Ibrahim, Chairman, in accordance with uh, Procedure 37, I move that for this item, when we take a vote on any motion, we'll proceed to the voting after the division bell has rung for one minute. Ms. Abbott Chan, Mr. Chairman, I would like to move a similar motion, but I'd like to change one minute to two minutes. Mr. Abbott Chan, this motion cannot be amended. So you would like to make a suggestion of two minutes. Mr. Abad Chan, Mr. Got him has already moved under paragraph 47 of the procedure to change the five minutes to one minute. I really cannot see how you can further change that to two minutes. Further, Ms. sorry, Mr. Abachan is not coming through. The speaker is not coming through. We're on paragraph 47. The motion is that the division bell will ring for one minute. If that motion is negative, if every member would like to have five minutes, then maybe you can invoke paragraph 47 again to move that uh, the division bell should ring for two minutes before we proceed to voting. Mr. Ibrahim has moved that motion for one minute under 47 of the procedure. Ms. Abachan, I've already started the voting. Mr. Albert Chan, just now you did not say that you would like to speak on the five-minute rule. I looked at you. Neither of you raised your hand asking that we should take a vote. In fact, apart from raising your hands, you can press the button. Sorry, the speakers are not coming through. Just now, just now, we've already done that by a show of hands. Mr. Abachan, I've already announced that voting had begun. Mr. Abachan is not coming through. I did not say that you cannot speak. You can press your button apart from raising your hand. Sorry, Mr. Abachan is not coming through the microphone. Mr. Abachan is not coming through. Sorry, the speaker is not coming through.
上边，陈伟业议员已经有足。Mr. Albert Chan, you got the English and Chinese of the FC procedure. The FC procedure procedure is here with me. I was not just on paragraph 47. What did he previously say? We're voting on the motion shown on the screen. Okay. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results: twenty-seven for, eleven against. I declare the motion passed. Dr. Kwakaki. In accordance with FC Procedure Paragraph Thirty-Seven A, I now move that as Affected by 165 D L, part of the residents will be affected by this West New Territories landfill extension, and the Longku Town residents have not been duly consulted. Therefore, this committee requests that the administration, before proceeding with the aforesaid works. Must duly consult the affected residents before commencing the foregoing works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results: eleven for, twenty-one against. I declare the motion negatived. Dr. Kwakaki, in accordance with thirty-seven FC Procedure thirty-seven A, I move that due to the impact of Works Project one six five D L as part of the West NT Landfill Extension. Consultancy fees and investigations, and uh, the residents of、uh, Longku Tan had not been duly consulted. This committee requests that the administration, before carrying out the four works, must consult duly consult the affected residents before commencing the foregoing works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results: twelve for, twenty-two against. I declare the motion negatived. Dr. Kwakaki, in accordance with paragraph thirty-seven A of FC procedure. 
as project number 165DR as part of the West New Territories Landfill Extension Consultant Fees and Investigation, the residents of Dragon Cove of Long Cool Town had not been duly consulted. This committee requests that the administration before proceeding with the FOL set works must consult the affected residents duly before commencing the aforesaid works. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Be display voting results. Voting results 11 for, 22 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, in accordance with FCE procedure 37A, I now move that as affected by project number 165DL, as part of the West NT landfill extension consultant fee, consultancy fees and investigation, residents in Pak Nai Chun had not been duly consulted. Therefore, this committee requests that the administration, before proceeding with the aforesaid works, must first duly consult the affected residents before commencing the aforesaid works. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, in accordance with paragraph 37A of the FC procedure, I move that as project number 165D L and uh, West NT Landfill Extension Consultancy Fees and Investigation affects a number of residents uh, in the various housing estates in Tun Moon, and such residents have not been duly consulted. This committee requests that the administration, before proceeding with the aforesaid works, must consult duly consult the residents of each of those housing estates in Tun Moon before proceeding with the aforesaid works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would member Please check your vote. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting results 10 for, 18 against. I declare the mo motion negative. Dr. Kokaki, in accordance with Rule 7, 37A of uh, FCP, I move the following. Affected by part of 165DR entitled West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations. Engineering vehicles and personnel would uh, increase, and definitely the flow in Nim Wan Row in Tun Moon would definitely increase. This committee therefore requests that before um, commencing the, the aforesaid works, must the administration must uh, strictly assess the uh, impact on the above said section before commencing works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 for, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwokaki, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I move the following. Affected by part of 165DR, West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations, 
there will be uh, increased engineering vehicles and personnel, causing an increase in traffic flow along Twin Longku Tan Road in Twin Mun. Therefore, this committee requests that before commencing works, the administration must strictly assess the uh, impact of the works on the above said section before commencing the works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwoka Ki. In accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that under uh, part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants' Fees and Investigations. There will be an increase in engineering vehicles and personnel, causing an increase, a substantial increase in traffic flow in Long Moon Road and Twin Moon. Therefore, this committee requests that before commencing works, the administration must um, strictly assess the uh, impact on the above set section of the road before commencing work. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 4 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwokaki, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that as um, under 165. DR, part, um, partially entitled WNT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations, with an increase in engineering vehicles and personnel. The traffic flow along Longfu Road to Moon will increase substantially. Therefore, this committee requests that before rolling out the above said works, the administration must first stringently assess the impact on the above said road section before commencing the works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 4 15 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwokaki, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that under part of 165DR entitled West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations. The number of engineering vehicles and engineering staff will increase, causing a substantial increase in the traffic flow in Wong Shu Road of Tun Mun. Therefore, this committee requests that before commencing works, the administration must first stringently assess the impact on the above set road section before works commence. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwoka Ki. Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that under part of 165DR NT West. Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigation. There will be an increase in the number of engineering vehicles and staff, causing a substantial increase in traffic flow along Twin Moon Highway. 
Therefore, this committee requested that before rolling out the above set works, the administration must first stringently assess the impact on the above set road section before rolling out the works. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that under part of 165DR West End T Landfill Extension, consultants' fees and investigations. The number of engineering vehicles and staff will increase, causing uh, an impact on the air quality of Tun Moon District. Therefore, this committee requests that before commencing the above said project, the administration must first stringently assess its impact on the air quality of Tun Moon and uh, undertake that it will carefully monitor the change in air quality of Tun Moon before commencing the above said project. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FCP, I now move that under 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants' Fees and Investigations. Rivers and streams near the engine, the works area will definitely be affected. Therefore, this administration, this committee requests that before commencing the above said project, the administration must carefully assess the impact on the nearby water sources before commencing the above said project. Voting begins. I before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The, resu the result is displayed. 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedure, I now move that under part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations, the ecological uh, coal environment in near the works area will definitely be affected. This committee therefore requests that the administration strengthenly assess the impact on uh, animals and plants near the works area uh, before rolling out the above set project. Voting begins. Before I announce the voting result, mem would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 10 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with th Rule 37A of FC procedure, I now move that as part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension, consultants' fees and investigations will definitely affect hikers in the area. The, this committee therefore requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must first stringently assess the impact of the project on nearby hiking routes.
Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move the following. As the waste recovery work in Hong Kong is not uh, done adequately to deal with the increasing problem of waste, uh, therefore, this committee requests that before commencing the uh, part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations Project, the administration must carefully review waste co recovery work in Hong Kong before rolling out the project. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 9 4, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move the following. As residents living in Long Moon uh, Oasis in Tun Moon has not been adequately consulted uh, under part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations Project, this committee requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must duly consult the affected residents. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your vote. Voting is closed. The results are displayed. 10 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move the following. As residents living in Melody or Newton Moon Centre, has not been fully consulted, consulted under 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations Project. This committee requested before commencing the above project, the administration must first duly consult the affected residents. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwakaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move that as residents living in Melody Garden of Tun Moon has not been fully consulted under part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations Project, this committee requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must duly consult the affected residents. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, would members please check your votes? Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 
nine four twenty against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwoka Key, Chairman, in accordance with Rule thirty seven A of FC procedures, I move that as residents living in Tun, um, Butterfly State of Tun Mun um, have not been fully consulted under part of the project 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigation. This committee requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must first duly consult the affected residents. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, for members, please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. Voting result 9 4, 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwokaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move that as residents living in Marina Garden of Tun Moon have not been fully consulted under um, pro part of Project 165DR, West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations, this committee therefore requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must first duly consult the affected residents. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting result, members, please check your votes. Voting is closed. The result is displayed. 9 4, 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Kwokaki, Chairman, in accordance with Rule 37A of FC procedures, I now move that as residents living in the Shiusan Court of Tun Moon have not been fully consulted under part of 165DR West NT Landfill Extension Consultants Fees and Investigations Project, this committee therefore requests that before commencing the above project, the administration must duly consult affected residents living in um, various estates in Chun Moon. to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote has concluded. We will display the results. 9 for and 19 against. I declare that the proposal is negatived. Dr. K.K. Kwok, according to 37A of the Rules of Procedures, I now move that because of the work's impact from 165DR, The flow of traffic and work people will affect the sections on Hushan Road in Tun Moon. This committee requests the administration to first assess the impact on the section mentioned about before starting the works. Now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. We now conclude the vote and display the results. 10 4 and 17 against. I declare that the proposal is negative. Dr. K.K. Pok. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of FC, I now move that because of 
the impact from West New Territories Landfill Extension Consultants fees and investigations under 165DR. There will be more traffic and people going to Hu Shan Road of Tun Mun. We ask that before commencing the works, the administration must seriously assess the impact on the section of the road before commencing the work. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. We'll conclude the vote and display the results. 10, 4, and 16 against. I declare that the proposal negative. Dr. K. K. Kwok. Chairman, according to 37A of Rules of Procedures of the FC, I now propose that because of the impact coming from 165D R West NT landfill extension consultants fees and investigations, there will be greater flow of works vehicles and work staff. There will be heavy flow to Wuking Road in Tun Mun. This committee demands the administration to first seriously assess the impact on the aforementioned road section before commencing the work. This is actually Hoi Wong Road, not Hu King Road. I'm talking about 104. W104. We are now at 105. So Hu King Road is for 104. We are now on 105, and which is Hoi Wong Road. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. The vote is now concluded and results displayed. 94, 19, 17 against. I declare the proposal negative. Dr. K. K. Kwok, Chairman, according to Rules of Procedures 37A, I now propose that because of the works impact from 165 DRS and for extension consultants' fees and investigations, there will be greater flow of works vehicles and work staff. And Castle Peak Road will be affected. The committee demands that the government should first seriously assess the impact on the mentioned road section before commencing the work. And I'll put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify the votes. We'll now conclude the vote and display the results. 9 4, 19 against. Dr. K. K. Kwok. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure Finance Committee, I now move that because of the impact from 165DR West NT Length Extension, consultants' fees and investigations, because of increase of work, vehicles and staff. The flow of traffic on Puito Road in Tunmun will seriously increase. We demand the administration to first seriously assess the impact on the mentioned section before commencing the work. After this one is Mr. Fan Kuo Wei. We'll put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify the votes. Voting is concluded. We'll display the results. 9 4 18 against. I declare the proposal negative. Mr. Fang Kwok Wai, I cannot agree with how you handle uh, the questioning arrangement for from Mr. Abu Chen. According to 70, 37A of Rules of Procedures of Finance Committee, I move that because of over budgeting 
for uh, recent government works, I urge the government to ensure that the NT West landfill expansion plan consultants fees and investigations will not go over budget. Now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting now concluded and will display the results. Eight, four, 19 against, I declare a proposal negatived. Mr. Fan Kok Wei, according to 37A of Rules of Procedures of Finance Committee, I move that since reduction of waste at source still has great room for improvement, the government should give higher priority to reduction of waste at source revitalize the pig farming industry so as to absorb more kitchen waste. This committee demands the government to resume licensing for the pig farming industry before the extension of the landfill. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is concluded. We'll show the results. 8 4 17 against. I declare the proposal negative. To Mr. Fan Kok Wei. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of FC, I now move that since the waste reduction at source work still has great room for improvement, the government should focus more on waste reduction at source and revitalize the poultry farming industry in Hong Kong to absorb kitchen waste and other organic waste. We demand that the government should offer a subsidy to handle kitchen waste to provide greater incentive to the use of kitchen waste for uh, feeds for poultry before moving on to the expansion plan for the landfill. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now concluded and we will display the results. 8 4 and 17 against. I declare the proposal negatived. Mr. Fan Kok Wei. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that since waste reduction work in Hong Kong still enjoys great room for improvement, the government should give high priority to promote waste reduction, revitalize pig farming industry in Hong Kong to absorb organic waste such as kitchen waste. This committee demands the government to provide subsidies to pig farmers to create greater incentive to use kitchen waste as feedstock for pigs before commencing the landfill expansion plan. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is concluded and will display the results. 7 4, 16 against. I declare the proposal negatived. Mr. Fan Kok Wei, according to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that since waste reduction, uh, waste reduction at source, so enjoys great room for improvement, the government should attach high priority to such work and reduce construction waste. We ask the government to suspend approving application by developers for mandatory uh, auctioning of buildings unless such buildings have been listed as non-recoverable by the buildings department before moving on to the 
NT West Landfill Expansion Plan. And I'll put it to the vote. Before I announce the results of the vote, please verify your votes. Voting is concluded. We'll display the results. 7-4-17 against. I declare the proposal negatived. Ms. Fang Kuo Wai. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that this committee demands the government to increase substantially collection point or recycling points for e-waste before moving on to the NT-West landfill expansion plan. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now concluded. We'll display the results. 6 4 18 against. I declare the proposal negative. To Mr. Fan Kuo According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move that this committee demands the government to undertake comprehensive recycling and recall of plastic bottles before the anti-West Landfill Expansion Plan. Now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. We'll conclude the voting and display the results. 6 4 17 against. I declare the proposal negatived. Mr. Fan Kuo Wai. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures of Finance Committee, I move that this committee demands the government to submit a report to assess the civil education work on waste reduction and recycling and pro promote a more proactive educational proposal before the NTUS landfill expansion plan. We now put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. But now conclude the voting and display the results. 6 4 18 against. I declare the proposal negative. To Mr. Fan Kuo Wai, according to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that this committee demands the government to submit a report to assess the content of fundamental education concerning waste reduction and recycling for primary and secondary schools, promote a more proactive educational proposal before moving on to NT West landfill expansion.
But I'll put it to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting concluded will display the results. 6419 against, I declare proposal negatived. Mr. Fang Kuo Wei. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of the Finance Committee, I move that since waste reduction and source still enjoys great room for improvement, the government should attach greater priority to the such work, develop local farming industry to absorb organic waste such as kitchen waste. This committee demands the government to legislate to prevent owners of agricultural land to allow the land to become abandoned. All agricultural land should be engaged in planting activities so as to take over kitchen waste from the urban area and also organic waste before moving on to the landfill expansion plan. We now put this to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting concluded will display the results. 7419 against. I declare proposal negatived. Is the fine court way? Oh, uh, chairman is 5.30. Whoa. One and a half minutes left. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of Finance Committee, I move that because of ways that Waste reduction and source work still has great room for improvement. The government should attach greater priority to such work, revitalize the fish culture industry to absorb organic waste such as kitchen waste. This committee demands the government to legislate to prevent abandoning fish ponds by the owners and engage them in fish culture activities so as to absorb kitchen waste and organic waste so they can be turned into fish feet. Yes, there was a typo, Chairman, and I've corrected it. We'll now put this to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting concluded will display the results. 7419 against. I declare the proposal negative. We will now take a break and resume at 5.40.